If you want fantastic gaming glasses that improve clarity and reduce eye strain, make sure to buy those with glasses using the link in the description to better your gaming experience today. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new series I want to create. I don't know why I said welcome back because this is in fact a pilot episode to a new series I want to create. Now I haven't actually come up with a name for the series, if you can think of a name after listening to my explanation of it which I'm about to do in a second, make sure to comment below and tell me a name, and also comment below, like the video if you want to see the rest of this series pan out, well the series could go on forever but yeah if you want to see the series actually be carried out, make sure to comment below and like the video. So the idea of the series is to basically tell stories of things that have happened in the past. Now I found a really good story for this first episode and I think I could find a lot more good stories to tell you in the future. A lot of the stories are pretty weird by today's society standards anyway so I think it would be a good idea to create this brand new series and yeah again if you want the series to be panned out put, put it down in the comments like the video and let's get on with the first episode of the series. So this story takes place around the 12th and 13th century, so as you can probably tell, society's standards were a lot different back then. Now I want you to try and guess who did this, and what I'm going to do is basically show you a situation and ask you to write down in the comments below what you think you would have done in this situation, and then I'll tell you what this person did in that situation. So what the situation is, is you're walking in the woods, you're hunting, you're with your half-brother and a hunting party around you because you're actually part of, effectively, the royal family of the country that you live in. Now I'm going to tell you what that country is later after I finish this story. And you've been hunting for a while, you're getting into the swing of things. This is when you see, right, you see a squirrel. And you look at that squirrel and you're like, I really want... To kill this squirrel this is this looks like the best squirrel around it'll make a really nice tea so I want to kill this squirrel and take it for myself keep in mind you're with a whole hunting party around you right and they're meant to be kind of protecting you because you're part of the royal family etc and basically what happens is your half-brother gets out his bow and shoots the squirrel now as I said you wanted that squirrel for your tea that looked like a nice squirrel your half-brother, immediately after shooting the squirrel, goes on horseback, because you're all on horses obviously, um, he goes on horseback to the squirrel, picks it up, puts it in his bag, his hunting bag, which he has loads of other stuff in from what he shot before, doesn't say anything, and pretty much just tries to carry on the hunting trip. Now, assuming that you'll be quite angry, because, again, you did want that squirrel for your tea, what would you do in that situation? Write down in the comments. Pause the video right now because I'm about to tell you what this person did and who he was. This person, in case you haven't heard of him, was Genghis Khan. He was the leader of the Mongolian Empire and he basically invaded everywhere. He invaded most of Asia, most of Europe and was a tyrant who killed millions upon millions of people and did some terrible things and destroyed many, many civilizations. He certainly got around, but whilst getting around, he just invaded everywhere and killed everyone. So what Genghis Khan did, he was, by the way, Genghis Khan was at the time around 15. He was in his adolescent years, definitely, but stories of this kind of are a bit shaky, so details aren't very good. So he was around 15, he was pretty angry, and... What he did was just went up to his half-brother and stabbed him. And eventually, his brother does die. And keep in mind that he was, again, around his adolescent years. And this was one of his first kills, if not his first kill ever. And it was on his own half-brother. Now, I can kind of guess what you wrote in the comments was probably just tell him, you know, I want that squirrel, give me that squirrel back. And then, he'd, and then you might get into a little argument over it. But I don't think you would have killed your own half-brother. But that's what Genghis Khan did. And it may have even been because of this that he grew up to become the, the pretty evil man that he was who invaded most of the world. A lot of people say he was a strong man, not necessarily that evil, but 
there are a lot of records of bad things that he's done like found out that some of his men were diseased and died with the disease on them and he just threw disease ridden corpses into a city while he was sieging it. He just did a lot of bad stuff generally. So that was the story of Genghis Khan killing his own half brother as his first kill over a fight about a squirrel whilst they were hunting. Surrounded by a hunting party who was meant to be protecting him. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.